Phase one is finally complete on the Dream Studio build. I'm super excited to show you guys what I've done to create the phase one of this, and I'll give you guys all the updates you need on phase two, which is happening two levels below us right now. Now, if you guys didn't know, what I've been working on is gonna be a two-parter of a dream football studio where the big phase two is all happening downstairs right now. And the phase one was gonna be the concept of it in my first ever office space right here. So the first thing I'm gonna cover is everything that I actually had to do to make this room what it is. Now, when you guys first saw this room, it was a completely blank canvas. It had these tan walls, some really old window shades on here, and that was pretty much it. Step number two for this room was kind of working with and making a design that I thought I would really like in here and something I'd, I'd live with for a while and then make sure and see if I liked it. And if I did really like it, I knew eventually I was gonna paint in here, do something like this dark gray. So I'd basically put everything up. If I like it, take it down, paint, or if I didn't like it, then I'd have to do a bunch of switches in the middle, which is what happened. So the first thing I did was design everything on this wall here. Now over here up top, I had these Ikea Mohs Lavish shelves that I thought would be this really cool, slim design for all these cleats to be on. Uh, but I actually found really fast that they were just so thin that you could only store one pair of cleats on it. I ran out of space like instantly and I had no room to increase or store anything more. So it just, it wasn't working out. And that's why I switched over to these, which I will talk about in a bit. So I basically had the cleat shelves all the way up top. I had my six helmets over here and then I had the glove wall over here. And I lived with that for a while. I shot a bunch of videos on that and it was okay. All right, now let's turn around and go to this wall. So this wall over here is pretty blank right now. And that's because it's actually a really nice big window that I use when I'm actually just working in my office here. Over here is my desk and this has not changed since I set it up. Um, we do have the shelves above it. The only thing I had different before was the shelves were kind of like stacked in like this kind of weird way. And I thought it was kind of like a cool geometric thing. Um, but in fact, it just made it hard to sort of it made it way harder to store all these bins uh, that I have for all the extra gear I have, which I'll take you through. So I changed that. And then over here is just a blank wall. So basically what I had to do was I took everything off the walls and I just, I restarted. I fixed and filled all the holes. I restarted and I relayed out everything uh, when it was time to paint. I decided that, you know, I don't like what I did here. I know I want to paint these walls. Let's do everything right this time. And let's just, let's just hundred percent change it up. So in this room, I had to redo everything. I redid all the casing, I redid all the fixes and the holes in the wall. I uh, obviously had to paint, all the trim, placement of everything, redid everything. Uh, so I basically took everything down, again, clean slate. Again, I fixed all the holes, I added on all the brackets for the shelves and I kind of got everything where I wanted it. And then I painted the walls and then I did all the trim. And then I put everything back, got everything mounted back on the walls, reset it up. That's where we're at today and I'll show you it now. So this right here is where I store all of my helmets right now. Whatever helmets I'm using consistently, these are the ones that I leave out in this area. We have a Shut F7 2.0. We just dropped a video on that. We have a Shut F7 VTD, which we still use in some videos. We have my Speedflex, Vices O2, a light helmet, which we haven't done a lot, and my reconditioned build. I did with three good arms for one of my high school helmets. Now, what I did do with this, I don't know if I ever turned my mic on. Oh my God, I didn't turn my mic on. There's no mic plugged into that. What are we doing? I basically have all my normal use helmets here and then I actually left room above it. If I do want to add more helmet hangers in the future, I can add them above, I can add them in other parts of the room. That's easy. Let's move over. Right here is my glove wall where I store all of my gloves on here. It's again, it's just an Ikea pegboard where every, one of every model, I take one of the gloves, I throw it on this wall here. It adds a lot of color, adds some cool background. I like the matte black as well. It looks really sick, honestly. Uh, before I kind of had them like this, then I kind of put them upright to make everything fit on the wall nicely. And that's how it lives now and I'm, I'm super happy with that. Um, right below that though, we actually have this desk. This is where I film all of our TikToks and reels and all that kind of stuff on, is this little desk right here. Um, so I have this desk and then for the lighting in the background, I just have some little LED lights. 
that I pop on when I'm filming. So this is the cleat wall here. And before I had these really skinny Moselanda shelves, um, which basically meant I could only store cleats like this along the wall, which made it really hard to display a lot of them because they were, again, a, a cool idea, um, but it just didn't wasn't really practical for the amount of storage I need. Um, I didn't realize I needed. And so this is really nice because right now I have, you know, 30 pairs of cleats, whatever on here, um, but I can actually squeeze in at least double. I can really shift everything down and, and fit a bunch of different cleats on here when the time comes, which is really nice. Uh, but I do have a lot more in boxes, which I will be showing you guys on the other side of this. Uh, the other thing I did add here was it kind of wraps around the wall, which I think is really cool. And I obviously have tons more room for storage uh, down below right over here. So lots of room here for stuff. I also have my plaque right here. And I also have my little bobblehead of myself that we did a video on as well. So in this corner is basically just where I store all of my bins. So whenever I get stuff, you know, one of it goes on the wall, one of it goes in here, and I have lots of other accessories and stuff that I just don't have room for. So we have bins just for, this is gloves, cleats, this is all shoulder pad accessories and stuff, helmet stuff, pieces. So uh, back plates, back plate accessories, all that kind of stuff. Down there, more cleats, this one's empty. Now up here is where I again have more storage because I have a lot of stuff. So we have mouth guards, mouth guards, uh, visor tabs, visor clips, visors. We have more boxes with a bunch of visors and face masks up here. And then beside it, this is actually the pride and joy of this room, is gonna be this Fazino Pop Art print. Um, so if you guys don't know, we did a collab with them for this year's Super Bowl. And the cool thing about this specific print is that this is actually one of the real deals. So the ones we gave away were a print, but this is the actual pop art. So uh, there's no actual glass on the front of this because I wanted it to pop out and have this cool effect. So that's how that lives. Moving down. So this is my desk. Um, this is where I work during the day sometimes for my actual normal job. Uh, but this is where I do all the editing, social media management across all of our platforms. Uh, Everything we do from here, we do the podcast from here, we do gaming at nights. It, this is kind of, again, my office, this is my space, this is my happy place. Um, so this is everything I use for that. Uh, I just have a Acer Predator build. Uh, this is the HyperX Quadcast mic. This is my MSI uh, Curve 34 inch, uh, three, uh, 3440 by 1560 maybe. It's a 21 by nine display. I don't like having two monitors with a split down the middle. I like having one large display. I'm super happy with these. I actually own two, one here, one at my office. And just a couple speakers. I have my Logitech accessories here, my MX Master mouse and my MX Master keyboard. And that's gonna be pretty much it for here. I, I game with an Xbox controller and I just have more storage down below for taxes and all that kind of stuff, all the paperwork that goes into owning a business that I have to do now. And that's almost it, except for this little closet right here. So this is just a closet, not a lot going on here. Uh, I just store whenever we get new samples of any merch, um, whenever companies send us stuff, we have a bunch of Zenith sent us a bunch of really cool stuff. So we did a video on that for them. Um, anything like that just kind of gets thrown in here right now. I didn't even renovate the closet. I didn't do anything to it. I just, I left it as is. That's the room. So what's next? You'll start seeing this in all the videos, which is really cool. And phase two has actually already started downstairs. So phase two is gonna take a really long time. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, I highly recommend I walk through everything and the master plan that's going into what we're doing here. Um, so go watch that video, but I've already taken down all the shelves. I've already cleared out a lot of the old uh, wires and stuff. We're starting on some electrical. I'm getting quotes on plumbing. We're starting the subfloor, taking down all the old drywall. So that's all starting and that's, that's gonna take me a really long time, but at least this was a really good concept. I'm super happy with the space. I have lots of room for growth in here, way more storage than I had. I love everything I did. This is honestly my dream office. Like this is so cool to finally have after 10 years. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy what we did in here. If you did, please consider subscribing. We have so much stuff happening on this channel now. We have all the reviews. We have a new series starting soon with a cleat designer where they're gonna do custom cleats for NFL guys. It's gonna be so sick. Um, we have that, we have the build series, all the socials. We're, we're working really hard right now. So if you made it this far, please subscribe down below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Get used to seeing this.